players now just on the way out for the four o'clock kickoff between Manchester United at the Emirates against Arsenal. Arsenal players lining up for the Manchester United players to come out honouring their 20th title which they won on Monday night and just honouring that as Man United walk out onto the pitch and then Van Persie said he wanted to leave one of the titles First year, and there's an applause, warm applause from the Arsenal players as Man United come out. Crucial game this for Arsenal, not so much for United. They'll still want to win. A lot of two teams are not fighting at the top anymore like they were a few years ago. And still the rivalry between Manchester United and Arsenal. Kind of rivalry that will never probably die down. It will always be there. And always be there in these big clashes. And so much riding on this game for Arsenal. Tottenham slipping up yesterday. With a 2-2 draw against Wigan. And Chelsea at the moment 2-0 up over Swansea. So looking good for three points. Which would take them above Arsenal if Arsenal had not failed to win this afternoon so plenty riding on this a good chance as well as say for Arsenal to extend their advantage over North London rivals Tottenham if they're to get the points today obviously attacking like Podolski back into the team in replace of Giroud you can see Rooney a key in the team Valencia Rooney so Valencia Rooney Nanny behind Van Persie Jones in the midfield as well with Carrick for Manchester United today this afternoon Van Persie making his first appearance at the Emirates since he was wearing the red of Arsenal before he left last season in his first season, Man United has been a huge contributor to Man United winning the league so comfortably this year. And we've so we've still four games to go for United with the title wrapped up. No last day heroics can be done from from Man City this year. No throwing it away from Man United. This game will still have the intensity that it always has. Arsenal will want revenge for the earlier defeat in the season after a lacklustre performance. They're on a quite a good form as well, Arsenal has recently, just peaking at the right time. Another masterclass really from Arsenal Wenger to get this side, which really doesn't have the type of players, the type of uh, death that other teams have up there like Manchester City, Chelsea, Man United, Tottenham yeah, they are above the, some of those teams in third place hard to believe after the terrible start they had and the criticism they received for the lack of spending again in the summer transfer window and though players like Giroud and Podolski have been brought into good effect Defensive lapses have cost them so many points this season. And Arsenal kicking off from left to right here. As we look at it. And straight forward and De Gea gets an early touch of the ball. And just nice in the white strip headed on there by Valencia. Tries to get forward through to Wayne Rooney from Van Persie who gets a few boos to start the game. And that goes through to Chesney. It's a Chesney. And it's now Sanya here on the right hand side. Here's Ramsey just comes into defensive midfield position to pick up the ball. And lay it off Koscielny. 
He's in a centre back position with Mert Saka, who's heavily been criticised the last few weeks. For the last few games, though, I saw him had some of his better performances in recent weeks. He was solid against Everton in that 0 0 draw at home. Now here Man United again with a lens on the right hand side. Has to go back to Raphael who launches it forward to Phil Jones or well that's cut out and here now Arsenal on the break. Phil Jones just coming back into his position but that ball is cut out by Evra. Just comes forward and picks it up. Van Persie, loud boos and ironic ironic cheers as he loses possession. And here's the man that replaced him and there's a good ball to Theo Walcott, Theo Walcott's onside and it's going to be 1-0 to Arsenal, Theo Walcott, after just two minutes, gives Arsenal the lead, Manchester United looking for the offside trap, I don't know where Ever had gone, he'd completely left Theo Walcott all on his own and he's wanted to make his point of being a striker, he's done that for most of the season, playing on the wing today but just looking at Ever's positioning. He just completely doesn't notice Walcott whatsoever. Walcott is actually offside. He's got a boot offside. But Ever, he doesn't even have a clue where he is. And once Walcott's gone past him, well, there's no catching him. There's a beautiful ball through and a great finish past the hair. And after just two minutes, a great start for Arsenal and they lead one goal to nil over Manchester United but ever a poor defending and just like that Bill Walker gives the home side the lead Manchester United is usually a case when they win the title early in the season sometimes that intensity will go from their games but that was just a lack of marking a lack of knowing where your player is and when you've got a player like Walcott that you have to mark, then you've got to know at all times where he is. And Patrice Evra was not up to date with that. Didn't know where Walcott was. Didn't see him coming from behind him. And you can't give this guy an inch of space in front of you. Because you're not going to catch him. And his finishing this season has improved massively. And that was another example of the way he's improved in his finishing. So Manchester United coming from behind here, they've done it plenty early on in the season. But this is different, this is an Arsenal side with so much to play for. An Arsenal side that have definitely improved in recent weeks in their defend defending, much like they were early in the season. Where they were solid at the back. When a few games actually without conceding, didn't they, early in the season. 2-0-0 draws followed up by a 2-0 win at Anfield really got people singing the praises about the defensive changes at Arsenal. New assistant manager focusing completely on defence and they were winning games from the back much as Man United have done in the second half of the season. Won games by defence. Here's another ball to walk on. That's just behind him. He can't control that. But again he was actually behind Patrice Ever. Ever just can't allow him that kind of space. Because the likes of Phil Jones, who I think had just covered for him, won't be able to catch up with him. If you let him down the wing, here we go, Arsenal again, they're running right at the moment. Here's Aaron Ramsey, tries to slip in Podolski, that's good covering by Johnny Evans. And he puts it out for a throw, and he's been a solid factor in that Man United defence this season. Every week, puts in a great shift as Johnny Evans. He's really proved himself as a top defender in the Premier League. As Man United get the ball back at the throw in. On the far side. In and half, but once again they're losing. It's Riziki with a shot and that's only a couple of inches wide, you know, well a couple of yards wide. De Gea always had his near post covered, but that's a good shot from Riziki. He's been superb in recent performances. And it's hard to see why the linesman's missed that. It's really right on the the line, the dark line where the pitch changes the colour, colour of green. But anyway, Arsenal won't mind. They haven't had that many breaks this season anyway. 
and I got one today. And Manchester United have had plenty of breaks this season. Not one now though. Here's Walcott again coming inside onto his right foot. Now it's with Cazola. Sanya on the right hand side. Sanya with a crossing, it's headed away. And a throw into Arsenal. Johnny Evans with a header. And Arsenal with all the early possession. Six minutes gone. Arsenal 1, Manchester United 0. Theo Walcott after just two minutes. Open the scoring. Here's Cazola. Cazola! Oh, it's a good save. That's a really good save by De Gea. Can't tell if that was going wide or if it was on target. It's a decent shot by Cazola. And that's going on target. You know, that is heading for the top corner. And De Gea has made a very, very good save. No one's ever doubted De Gea's saving ability. And just showing again there, but people have doubted his ability to catch balls in the air and there. Drops it in the penalty area. Lucky for him, there was a Man United defender to clear it up. But once again, Arsenal just winning the ball back. They just want this more right now. Man United showing a bit of commitment through Rafael there to win the ball back. Valencia tries to feed it through to Valen um, Van Persie. But Kieran Gibbs well cuts that out. Such a development, Kieran Gibbs, still a very young player. For his development, he's had to be rushed in quickly since the loss of Gale Clichy to Manchester City. But has Kieran Gibbs really, really come into that position well? Fitted in brilliantly, been a solid defender all season. They really missed him when he went out injured. And had to be filled in by the very attacking Andre Santos. Which was the reason that Monreal was brought in in the January transfer window. But now he's back and obviously yeah, that's a free kick against Riziki. He's not happy with that decision by the referee. Man, you know, he tried to take that quickly. That's not going to happen in that position. And I'll stop just having a few words with referee on that decision. Alex Ferguson won't be too happy. He'll obviously want his side to keep up that kind of intensity they've had all season. Don't want them to completely relax, let go of all of what they've learnt in the last few weeks. Want to see out this season. These are crucial games for Man United. Man United, the fans, want to see them win these type of games. Arsenal want to renew that rivalry by getting one back over Man United. It's not very often it happens. Here is Johnny Evans anyway. And passes that over to Rio Ferdinand. And here's Michael Carrick. Valencia. 1 2 with Rafael. Down the right hand side, cuts in, but there's plenty of Arsenal bodies right in front of him. Just a line of them. Stopping them playing stopping Man United playing through that midfield. They can obviously see the over the top balls which just aren't working at the moment. That's a poor one by Johnny Evans. It does come straight back to um Mick Michael Carrick, which cut out lovely there. Ball cut out brilliantly by an Arsenal player. I think it was Aaron Ramsey who cut that out. A bit of dilly dallying on the ball by Podolski, but Arsenal are able to regain possession. Here's Ramsey on the left hand side. Koscielny. Now Mert Sakura as Arsenal played across the back four. It's going to end up with Sagna here on the right hand side. Cazorle looking for somebody behind him, there's nobody there. Probably won't need Theo Walcott or Riziki to fill in. He just back heeled it to no one but a Man United shirt. Raphael goes down. I want a free kick to Man United, but they're just going to carry on. Referee didn't see anything in it, and Man United still had possession. Man United just slowing the pace down a bit. They're still 1 0 down, 10 minutes gone. Arsenal have had the majority of the play in these first 10 minutes, but Man United getting themselves back into the game over the last few moments. But not really imposing themselves in the Arsenal half, their possession has mostly been in Man United in their own um, half of the pitch, just around the halfway line 
And here it is with Carrick, who's just getting so deep. He's almost in his the back of the working in the defence now, but finds Evra, who nods it down to Phil Jones. Now, Nanny, what can he do? Finds Phil Jones. Oh, lovely work by Van Persie, and that's a wild shot. And more ironic cheers from the Arsenal faithful. And that's a wild shot on his left foot. It was a great move to start it off. Lovely, just uses his body to turn away from Sanya. But his shot on his left foot is uncharacteristically, characteristically wild from Van Persie. And high and wide into the crowd. And it remains 1 0. Chesney with the goal kick. Obviously, been out himself a lot of injuries this season. Fabianski has filled in quite a bit this season. In other scores earlier in the Blue Square Premier, Wrexham beat Kidderminster 3 1, meaning they were through 5 2 on aggregate. To we They'll be going to Wembley in the Blue Square Premier final. Against the winner of Newport County and Grimsby later on, which is currently Newport County 1, Grimsby 0. Newport home game today. And obviously, also Reading and QPR both relegated earlier. And but Alex Ferguson having a moan about something. Wants a free kick, didn't see much in it to be honest, which is a bit of shoulder to shoulder play down the left hand side. We had, we had a uh, draw between the two teams, QPR and Reading. Both teams are now relegated. I'll be playing in the Championship next season. Felt we fight was really sealed a few weeks ago. It was just mathematically impossible now. And Chelsea, it's just in the second half at Stamford Bridge, 2 0 to the good over Swansea City. And looking to regain a spot in the top four tonight and hoping to jump Arsenal but that will not be happening as things stand with Arsenal leading by goal to nil against Manchester United <sighs> here Arsenal with the ball just playing it back to Chesney in goal And obviously look for balls through to play it in midfield and try and find through balls, especially to Walcott and Zicky will be a key factor in the midfield and Ramsey. And plenty of free kicks being given to Manchester United right now. Just lunging tackles from Arsenal. And Manchester United still unable to really test the Arsenal goal well, tested the Arsenal defence would be a start and that's another good play from Koscielny this comes out of defence to nick that ball from Man United you know, possession and this is good play, here's Aaron Ramsey can find Sanya on the right hand side, the corner of the penalty area, Sanya can he find a cross going to hold it up, just cuts into penalty area and Phil Walker who just shoved off it by Evans in the penalty area, well done by Johnny Evans has to play back to De Gea who kicks it out all right footed De Gea and couldn't get on to his left foot and had no choice but to play it out for a throw into Arsenal in a dangerous position still here's um, Sanya with Cazola now and they're on this right hand side a good cross by Sanya but there's nobody in the penalty area apart from Podolski who is too near the far front post that's well dealt with there by Kafola. Here it is. Now Arteta collects the ball into just inside Manchester United half Aaron Ramsey. Plays a 1-2 quickly with Podolski. Plays another 1-2 this time with Ruziki. That's exactly what they need. Just playing triangles. Just 1-2s. And then just look for another open man. Pass and move. That's what Arsenal want at the moment. And just moving backwards. That is what they're doing at the moment. With Koscielny. Deep in his own half. 
here to play it forward and here's Arteta who oh, just overruns that ball and that's a bad challenge that's a late tackle by Phil Jones and could be going into the book for this he lunged in and will be giving a yellow card rightly so it's a lunging tackle the ball was there to be won in all fairness but it was a late tackle and um, Wayne Rooney trying to put his point across but look at that he's gone in he's lunged in he's got the ball and he's got a lot of Arteta as well it's, it's just reckless a bit not a red card obviously his feet aren't off the ground it's, he has kind of got the ball but takes out a bit of Arteta as well it's always one of them balls it's just in front of the Arsenal man, it's so tempting to lunge in and try and get to hit but you just got to keep discipline there Phil Jones should know better Phil Walcott with the ball in and that's poor it's really not on target, it's over everybody and there's no chance of the likes of Koscielny to get his head onto that ball and a waste of a chance for Arsenal, still 1-0 after 17 minutes of play also still Chelsea 2 Swansea nil. just playing around in their own half deep in their own half there De Gea and Jones De Gea didn't want that ball back from Phil Jones I mean not Phil Jones sorry um, he was at Johnny Evans here's Jones on the other end here's Van Persie Van Persie on his left foot chips it in Phil Jones is just wide oh that was lovely football from Manchester United between Phil Jones and Robin Van Persie and Van Persie with a delightful chip into the area and Phil Jones may have just have done a bit better with that you know he's coming oh he should do better with that he's got a clean head on that and he should be putting down the target he should be testing Chesney with that chance not a good few minutes for Johnny Evans going into the book and missing a very very good chance he was free in that Arsenal penalty area that's so where Arsenal need the centre midfielders, defensive midfielders to come back and just help out a bit when Manchester United send their midfielders into advanced positions. Phil Jones obviously taking up that more real central midfield role. More than um, Michael Carrick who's playing a very deep defensive midfield role. Trying to stop the likes of Capola and... Ramsey being able to play the football in there, but it's not stopping Theo Walcott, who's onside again. Left footed, oh, just in front of Kafola. Yeah, it's, he's well onside actually. And he just yeah, pulled this back. Oh, he just tried to feed in, hasn't he, into the six yard box to um, Kafola, who's running in, just saw the run, but. And Phil, Real Ferdinand sees that go out for a goal kick. Man United back with possession now. Nearly 20 minutes gone. Remember last night as well. What a game that was. Liverpool 6, Newcastle 0 at St James's Park. A real surprise result without Luis Suarez. Two goals apiece for Jordan Henderson and... Daniel Sturridge and Barini and Aga were the other two who got themselves on the score sheet. A brilliant display of counter attacking pace, skill from Liverpool and great defending as well. Hold off the few chances that Newcastle had, but everything was drained out of them once they went 3 0 down early in the second half. So here, um, Arsenal just getting the ball back again. A sloppy pass from Raphael. And here is Riziki, who was the one with the interception. There's a good touch from Kafola, but his second touch is really bad. But I think it's Raphael's ended up running out of play for a corner. Just didn't control it either. But oh, Kafola knows he was in for a good shout there at goal. Lovely first touch, but his second touch just comes off his toes. 
Oh, it just comes, bounces off his toe. Lovely first touch, but the second one, he just toe pokes it. And Raphael, not much better job either. Concedes a corner, which comes to nothing. It was a short corner, which comes to nothing and ends up all the way back with Szczesny. Great chance there, could be cut forward. I'm sure if it had got a better second touch, I'd have opened him up on his left foot. And he had a good strike at goal. Oh, that was that was a half chance, you'd say, for Arsenal to find the second goal. Still leading by goal to nil. Theo Walker on three minutes. And a blistering start from Arsenal. And Manchester United come into the game since then, but yet to really force anything significant at Chesney. He hasn't had to make a save, but Phil Jones should. And made him, called the goalkeeper into action. After a nice chip ball into the penalty area from Robin Van Persie, he head Phil Jones headed wide when he should have been putting a direct in it on target. Here Manchester United again, and uh, it's another wayward pass. Phil Jones this time tried to return it to Phil uh, to Johnny Evans, but ended up playing it too far out of play. A real strong pass that was from Jones and Arsenal. Will be happy to be gifted possession back, as they have been for much of this game. And United sloppy in possession, especially in midfield, and deep in their own half in the midfield usually, which is not where you want to be giving the ball away at all. I guess against his Arsenal side with so much pace, 